That is the greatest glissando I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> I forgot to shave. I always forget it, to shave. Am I still beautiful? <laughs> oh, you have, you, do you have neck beard? I, just a little bit. <laughs> I like I like a little neck beard. I'm I'm gonna do the video like this. <laughs> it's very manly though. It, it offsets manly. your emotional outbursts. It does. Uh, I think while we're have recording, should should that be our <laughs> intro? Yes, I think so. Welcome to the completely unscripted show, Throga Channel. My name is Richard. This is uh, and I'm and I'm Johnny. Imagine if that was scripted. That would be a very elaborate script, <laughs> very subtle. This like is the Big Lebowski of stuff. Whatever. I don't know what I'm saying. Today, we're doing a reaction video to Diana and Kudinova. I think I said that. Oh, last. love and, her. Yeah. Yes. So we've only done one song, right? I Yeah, we and, just did the one. I, think. I remember that song so well. The the just the, the darkness and the impact of her tone was just like incredibly captivating. So we've been anxiously... Yes wanting to come back so yeah. the video we're doing uh and i can't pronounce this either surprise is spell here let me give you the spelling here johnny it's r-e-c-h okay hold e on a second r-e-c-h yep e-n-k-a e-n-k-a uh Rachenka? or would that be a h sound like uh <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, perhaps we should do all of our videos live so you have someone in the chat to save the show at all times <laughs> oh, we can't be trusted by ourselves we cannot. so this song was recommended many many times over this video we're about to watch was in 2018 and she was mm -hmm. 14 Okay. So, so six years ago. So she's 20 now. Yeah. Okay. I'm thinking we jump in. Let's do it. Let's deep dive. And before we do that deep dive, make sure you guys hit like and subscribe and you ring that bell. Do you got your little things that you've made? No, like that's for the live. Remember? Oh God. So Is it, why can't what, it be for this? Well, cause when it's recorded, then I could time where it goes exactly, but live I can't, but no, you're, oh. I mean, hold on. Do it. Just do it. You worked so go. hard. Look at that. No, you hit. I like it. Look. Yeah, but the timing was terrible. That, All right, let's do this. Let's let's get in sync. Go ahead. Read your line. All right. So make sure you like and subscribe and ring that bell. Ring a ling a ling. You know what? See, that's that more, is way more satisfying. It's way more satisfying right, for enough, me to see fair that. Fair enough. Fair <clears> enough. <throat> and also be sure to check out the links below where you can click on them. And go to throga.com to learn more about singing and songwriting lessons with myself or with Johnny. And also take a free vocal assessment to learn more about your voice. And also be sure to check out throga.com slash react where you can join our email list and get updates and notifications on our contest. We have a contest happening right now. And if you win, it's kind of a trivia question. And if you win, you get to... Join our reaction, pick any song from any artist, and join Johnny and I and react along with us. should be a lot of fun. So we do have to, unfortunately, have this video kind of faded into the background. The link will be in the description, so you can go check out the check out the video in its entirety if you want, if you're not already familiar with. But this is for copyright purposes, and that way we don't get any strikes, and it doesn't have any crazy filters that are making people have seizures, <laughs> because some of the filters yeah. are really hard to look at, so... No seizures. All right. Here we go. Okay. Sorry, it feels like, oh, I think the video is actually cut off. It comes in on that first word. But you know what's funny is just this. I know who it is. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, exactly. Immediately. Uh, <laughs> yeah. All right, here we go. Folk song. <laughs> I 
Incredible. Oh my. She's 16? 14. 14. 14. 14. Oh my goodness. <laughs> we're just going to sit in awkward silence. <laughs> wow. Oh my goodness. How do you produce that sound? I mean, it's, I mean, I mean <clears throat> it, it seems like her, th her throat is like this wide, but she seems like she has a very normal think, size neck. You think her neck would be like wider than it is, right? Yeah. Obviously, the shape and size of her larynx. We talked about this before. The the space in the laryngeal pharynx, it's the lower part of the throat that she can obviously dilate it and just create these richer, fuller overtones. So there's a genetic component. There's no question about that. Mm -hmm. I think there's more happening here. I I, I feel like. Just to cultivate these types of sounds isn't just, oh, you have it. It's nurtured. So it's nurtured not just in play and experimentation. I don't know if she's done any specific training. If you guys know, please let us know. Um, but at 14, to kind of connect with those tones is howling almost inhuman overtones, things like that. I feel like, yeah. I feel like she's been through potentially terrible things and if she, and i hope that's not true but if she has my heart goes out to her but that very often why many singers can sing such crazy dynamic mm, interesting captivating things is they, they've been through something or on the flip side they're just really good at interpreting things almost like an alter ego right it tends to be yeah. one of the two it's like you experience this this darkness and you're able to present that in your art or it's like it's an alter ego thing where it's just like you you haven't experienced this whatsoever, but it's the you know the shadow self just going on her last uh, conversation with um, Map of the Soul. It's tapping into just allowing this this other version of yourself to kind of come out and play and explore. What there was one moment that she uh, I want yeah. to go back to it real quick. She yeah, she, she went like really deep into that super like otherworldly sound, and then she almost flipped into this almost like like flute sound. It was like a yes, it's like a uh, that's, that that's what crazy. I meant by like a howl. It almost sounded like a wolf howl or, or like, yeah. yeah 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 yeah. Yeah, that's I, so cool. I love the song too, it's very haunting. It sounds like a, a on stage too. That is the greatest glissando I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> what? Wow. I mean, the, the impressive, the even more impressive thing is she she does have that feminine quality to her voice, too. You know, so she's she's like choosing to, you know, it's not like, okay, this is my voice. I have this, it was blessed with this incredibly 
unique and crazy sounding thing that I could do. No, it's like, no, she, she can sound like a normal, you know, a typical woman too. And then just break into this. Right. I don't even know what it is. I want to, I don't even want to say male sounding. It's like, it's not. It's like yeah. A, it's, I agree. I think it's very feminine, but, <laughs> but it's low, but it's got like a richness of, I mean, you know, that first note, if you, you said you could recognize that it was her. If I heard, it, I was like, Oh, who, who's that guy singing? You know, cause it's just, that's just got I, that, well, that it, I think to part me. of that is just the association of just the pitch itself, right? It, it, because your brain. Maybe, but there's, yeah. No, I yeah, I, 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 I agree. There, there is there is a rich quality that's more associated with the male voice. There's no question mm-hmm. about that. Right. Um, but I could still hear. I don't know. Maybe, maybe the first time hearing her, if I didn't see her, maybe maybe I would guess male. I'm I'm not sure, mm-hmm. but yeah, I, I do hear feminine quality throughout this, and this and this is. 14 feminine like yeah i know <laughs> all right let me back up for a second I, i've never heard a voice like this it's just, it's Yeah. That took you long enough, people. Right. Did you show? Oh. This is probably going to be the most boring video for people to watch because both of us are just like, <laughs> and like a combination of her voice and the the sort of the hypnotic nature of the song. We're both. I was just noticing. Well, you see, yeah, I know. Well, it was like within there, right? You know, the, the four coaches or whatever. This is a version of the voice or whatever it is. It's like, oh mm-hmm. crap, we have to like, we have to hit the button. Like, like yeah, we have to do so... something. Yeah, it's like th- we're almost I under think, a spell. I think. That's a great way to put it. I think last time yeah. you even, I think you suggested kind of like had like a possessed sound. Yeah, and, and she I sounds just, like I, embodied by something. Yeah. Yes, exactly. And I want to, I want to change, I want to alter that word to enchanted. Like she's like, it feels like possessed in the sense of somebody taking over her, but she's so wired. It's not like someone took over her brain and her body. She's connected. It's like a channel to some spiritual yeah, just, enchantment. I, no, it's just like she's taken over by some presence that has, yeah. you know, it's just some foreign thing that just has invaded her body. That's, I mean, no, but but her delivery is like as I'm I'm touching on the lyrics as it goes. It's I mean, you know, dark lyrics as a whole, and it's interpreted, and there's obviously poetic license taking place. But I mean, you kind of get get a feel for it from from what I gathered. Uh, everything synced. Like in terms of like where she threw her voice and where she got vocal fry textures and where she got explosive, like just resonated really well with the meaning of the lyrics. It was just, it was crafted oh, yeah. really well in terms of the lyrics and the music to begin with and whoever wrote this. And then it's, it's a folk song uh, called Sweet River, I guess is the interpretation as I'm seen on the screen right now, off screen. And her ability to kind of, it's almost like pulling on like the generations of past 
it's kind of how it felt to me, like coming out with mm. this song and, and delivering it, just echoing through her. Yeah, I mean, no, I, I agree with you. She's she's in complete control the whole time. It's not like you know, yeah, she's she's gone when <laughs> she's just performing. I mean, she's there and she's making all these choices. Just the sounds that come out of her just seem like <laughs> no. they should not be coming out of her. <laughs> it's just it's, and head seemed... to toe, her movement. Like I said, at fourteen years old to be on a stage <clears> like that and cameras in front of a live audience. And to allow herself to just be, to go into this place and still connect. She's still entertaining. It's not like she was looking at the ground or facing the wall or in her bedroom, you no know, closed doors. She's aware of the choreography taking place around her, the lighting, the intention. There's an intent to perform and still be completely dedicated to the meaning and feeling of the song. At 14, that's something most At artists 14. never quite achieve. Oh, my goodness. I mean, I, I, my only explanation is if, if you believe in reincarnation, this is probably <laughs> her 10 billionth lifetime, and she's just just right. the oldest soul on the planet, and she's come back. Oh, my wow. goodness. I would love to see her in, in like an interview, just, just what her personality oh, is like. A, and That's a great idea. Uh, yeah. I, I'm just going to throw it out there. I'm thinking we just need to dedicate maybe – a reaction Wednesday to her. Maybe we yeah. can include a couple interviews and, and get some uh, live requests on what other songs we should check out. Um, and I'm, we could easily spend an hour deep dive into this voice and her background and try to understand what's going on. Yeah. Oh my God. I mean, we've heard some of the most amazing voices on the planet and she is, I mean, she's right up there. I, I've never, really I've never heard out. anything like her. Yeah. Uh, thank you for the recommendation. We will come back. I'm thinking reaction mm -hmm. Wednesday. We need to get around to schedule and, you know, by all means, share your, your insights, your thoughts, uh, links for other songs that we can consider moving forward. Um, for those of you who are familiar with her body of work and damn. Wow. Once again. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Where did that come so from? Stupid. You made that up. You did that one day, probably like 20 years ago or something. And I thought it was hilarious. We were, oh, you know what? <laughs> I we still were, do. We were in the studio, I think, where we normally are, where I lived. Um, yeah. Yep. Someone did something. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. I, did, I don't know why. Well, and it's stuck. It's stuck. Well, Thank anyway. God it's stuck. Incredible. I mean, that's all I can say. That's. Just yeah, let, let's spend an hour and a half with her where we say and do nothing and just make up gibberish trying to explain what's <laughs> yeah. happening. <laughs> yeah, we're trying actually just we're doing this to make it easier on ourselves. So we I know, right? We'll just, we'll just sit there the whole time. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, thank you for easier. watching. Thank you for joining, and we will see you next time. Take care. Bye, everybody. everyone.